what unique challenges are involved in a third offense DUI case, there are really two broad issues here. Number one, the legal. We want to reduce the charge. We want to spare somebody from dealing with a felony. A third offense is a felony. That word felony scares people. It can often be avoided, but just hearing the word sends shivers up and down many people's spines. The second consideration is the human consideration, the person, because you don't get to a third offense DUI without having some kind of troubled relationship to alcohol. Even the person who will come in and say, I don't drink much, I'm not a big drinker, I don't drink all the time. Even if that's true, uh, the, the only reply to that is, well, when you do then, things tend to go bad quickly, don't they? So we have to work on that aspect of things, uh, make sure we're proactive, get the person into the right kind of counseling, not only to help them, but most important, to help the case. Ultimately, what we want to do is to reduce that felony to a misdemeanor, save the person from facing a felony, having a felony conviction. There are lots of options, including things like sobriety court, which we can address in a separate issue, which can even save a person's driver's license. Uh, so third offense DUIs are very much like first and second in the, in the sense that they're DUIs, but they are unique unto themselves simply because of the presence of that word felony.